You know what? Let's watch the final one, boys. The latest one from Garemo. Amazing Discoveries on the Wrath Classic Beta Part 5. Alright, let's look at this here, guys. Let's look at some more discoveries from the beta. Hello, everyone, and Hello. welcome to the fifth part of my Wrath of the Lich King beta testing. What is that? Look at the worm. The fifth part of my Wrath the... of the Lich King beta testing. A pepe and meltdown. today, I'm so excited to share even more things with you. Okay. Remember, you can always post a comment below the video if there's anything specifically you would like me to test for the next video. But before you do this, remember to check out part one to four because Dude, I might already burns, have man. tested what you're looking for. Anyway, enjoy this video. Thank you. A lot of you are wondering if you'll be able to stack Horn of Winter, the new Death Knight ability. You can't. I'm sorry for spoiling the video, what he's about to say, but you can't. You cannot stack the scrolls with Horn of Winter. You also can't stack uh, Blessing of Might with Battle Shout. It's kind of unfortunate. Ability together with the different scrolls. Yeah. So you will be able to get even more strength and agility. When it I tested this, I got this error message telling me that I already have a more powerful buff. I also decided to test it the other way around. So first apply the scroll, mm -hmm. followed by the Horn it's of Winter. It, right? But when you do this, oh. it will remove the scroll buff, and now you will only have the Horn of Winter. Meaning you will not be able to stack Horn of Winter together with the scroll of strength or scroll of agility. Yeah, there has okay. also been some requests to test if the druids were able to use Polarm. And yes, a druid will be able to learn Polarm in Wrath of the Lich King. This is going to be a huge change. Wait, you weren't there, man. The first patch they were dominating. What do you mean I weren't there? Dude, I, I literally, there was literally a guy on my YouTube. I saw the comment and I, 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 I was so... Some guy think I, I'm faking my age for content. He's like, oh my God, th there's no way this guy played Wrath back in the day. He's obviously lying for content so he can seem cooler for his, his, his YouTube and stream. He's like, what? What do you mean? I, 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 you, I, what? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Like, why would I be doing that? I, I, I want to find. I want to find the actual. Uh, God damn it! I, I, I think I, I, I looked at it. Yeah, he said. Okay, he admits to being in middle school to sixth to eighth grade doing rad. So it's literally, it's finally. Uh, put to test that there's no way he he played vanilla or TBC. Same reason Peo lies about his age, I guess. Peo is only 24 years old. Guys, he claims to be in his 30s. <laughs> Wait, what? Man, all these goddamn content creators lying about their age, man. Jesus Christ, dude. It's getting too far, guys. It's <laughs> dude, I was in middle school. Yeah, when, when, when vanilla came out... I was, uh, I was ten. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, I was ten. I was ten years old. But I play. I played it. I did play it on my brother's account. But I did play WoW. You know, I played it. it, it it's how it goes. You know. But let's let's keep watching here though. I just wanted to get that out. Compared to Burning Crusade, because now druids have so many more options for weapons. Yeah, I played on my warrior's account. Right, I was twenty-four at that time. Oh, back in my day. <laughs> There's also been quite a few comments related to the PvP mounts. Mm -hmm. And yes, the price for these oh, will yeah. change. Back in Burning Crusade, it required marks. In Wrath of the Lich King, it will require honor. The Black Battle Strider has also been changed. So now Night Elf, Human, and even Draenei will be able to ride this mount. Oh, I love the Battle Strider. The only thing that's annoying is that it has that... That, that it, it, had that, it has that constant sound, but I love the, the, the Battle Strider so much. I think it's a cool mount. Some of you would also like me to test the Omen of Clarity Talent okay. as a druid. I'm 28 and I remember going back with my bike to take my physical Wrath pre-order and waiting till midnight to play it on a launch. Bro, I miss the Wrath days, man. Like back in the day. Oh, I vividly remember... This has nothing to do with Wrath. Oh my god, I'm having like a like a, a nostalgic throwback. I remember sometimes in the weekends, me and a few of my friends, we would um, we would get like five ten dollars from my from like my mom uh, to go to Blockbuster and rent like three movies, and then we would go into Blockbuster, rent the movies, and then Blockbuster also sold like candy, so we would buy a little bit of candy from Blockbuster and then also renting the movies, right? And we go back home, watch the movies. Oh my god. <sighs>
damn, that was good times. And yes, this will be able to proc when you're in cat form, making your next attack a clear cast. Yeah, you, you could also rent games from Blockbuster. Requiring no energy. I, I don't know, I, I know, frick, I'm, now we're just talking about... Get, like, I don't know, man, there's something, there was something so cool about that, though. I know it's, like, easier now, because it's what, watch, like, Netflix or whatever the flip, the flip you watch on, right? But, damn. There's something cool about that back in the day. Did right here, and as you can see, when I use my mangle, I still have 100 energy. Okay. Under beta, I found two kind people who helped me test oh. the summoning stone. Or well, the ritual of summoning as oh, a warlock. Yeah. Because in Wrath the Lich King, warlocks will be able to make their own summoning stone. And oh, these this. summoning stones you can use inside dungeons and raids. The first test I did was to summon myself uh, and use the heart stone, yeah. followed by accepting the summon. But for some reason, this is not going to be doable mm -hmm. on the beta right now. So when I don't know if that worked on, the, on Wrath either, but like you usually can't summon people in the inside and then go out, but... Yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe this is a bug. I'm not sure if this is this is a bug or not. Back to the dungeon to test this again. This time, I would try to summon a player who was not inside the dungeon. Mm -hmm. And when I tried this, I got this error message. That's not working in Wrath? Okay, okay. Telling me that the player is not inside the dungeon. So for now, it seems like you will not be able to summon people into the dungeon or raid if they're not already inside the instance. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to some good news. Anyway. For those of you who are preparing honorable kills right now for the upcoming achievement system, then I can tell you these are being tracked. So the moment oh. the achievement system goes live, then it will also track and give you the achievement compared to the honorable kills you have. The I do wonder how many people are going to... I mean, achievement hunting is fun. It, it is a fun thing to do, honestly. Kills is the exact so. same number in the achievement window, but also in the PvP yeah. window. And no, you will not be able to combine all the honorable kills on all your characters. Mm -hmm. This is the first Wait, time... Are we ready for the raid, raid by the way? Uh, not yet. We need a few more people. Okay. I ever get to record something from Sounds Dalaran like CD on the beta. The Ulum gear will be available at the launch of Wrath the Lich King, and the price for the different items remains the same. So between oh yeah, you buy them for like the dungeon uh, badges or whatever you get. Yeah. Forty to sixty-five emblems of heroism. These you obtain inside the different Wrath the Lich King heroics, and every time you kill a boss, you will also be able to loot one of mm -hmm. these. You can even use these emblems to purchase different level eighty epic items, and the item level of these is two hundred. Yeah. The most important thing about this winter score, is the guys. frozen orb, and it seems like the frozen orb will be bind on pickup in the first phase. Okay. It seems like the limited supply winters will also be in the game, allowing people to purchase the tome oh, of. Oh, you can get a black cat polymorph now. Okay. I remember spending summer of 2007 to buy a new PC for Wrath in 2008. Damn, it's the good old days, man. Polymorph black cat, a new polymorph effect for mages in Wrath of the Lich King. Okay. But like I said, it's a limited supply, so maybe you will be able to purchase this, flip it on the auction house, and make a profit. Maybe. Not that long ago, I released a video explaining you were able to speed level your professions in Wrath of the Lich King with Burning Crusade materials. So I had to double check this on the beta, and yes, it seems like you will be able to level up your professions in Wrath of the Lich King with Burning Crusade materials Ooh. from level 375 to level... I mean, yeah, that, that's the same you can in you can vanilla, right? You can, you, you can still go through with those. 395. Yeah, yeah. The comment that received the most likes in the previous video <gasps> is if I'm able to level up in Wrath of the Lich King with Burning Crusade dailies. So I decided yeah. to go back to Isle of Kvaldanas to test this. And the quest where you hand in 10 gold to instantly complete the quest will not grant you any experience. But what about okay. all the other dailies I on mean, the I, I think normal daily should though, right? Isle of Kvaldanas. Yeah. Will these even give you any experience at level 70? This is going to be important to know, because if there's too much competition in Northrend, for example, with the different quest monsters and objects, then it might be better to go to Isle of Kuldanas. Well, I got some good news for you, because when I went back to the quest... They give XP, right? A, a, a Wrath quest gives like 22k or so, so it's not as much, but like a bunch of people will probably prepare like a full quest log, right? So you can just go in, turn in the full quest log and get like four bars of XP, right? Before you even go to Northrend. Discover ...and completed the yeah. quest, I got 9,500 experience. This is a fairly decent amount of experience, not bad. but not as much as the Wrath the Lich King quest. However, all of the quests on the Isle of Kuldanas doesn't only grant you 9,500 experience. Some of them... If, if you want to min-max completely, you can probably get like a buttload more, right? Um, yeah, I know people, and this is ridiculous, but people actually do this. There are some people literally, li literally, literally making like fresh new characters to main for Wrath. 
and they they like not they don't do like all the um the raid turning quests like the ones from like Kelthas and like Mactheron and stuff like that and they have those ready to turn in at like level 70 instantly so it's a completely new character with all that prepped up right and it's like people really min max man they really min max i get it honestly if you want to be like some sort of like you know speed runner or something like that but there's a lot of like like just na like normal casual people that do that as well to speed it up right them also granted 12650 experience so it honestly might not be too bad to do this quest at the launch of Wrath mm -hmm. the Lich King. Also because the quest in the beginning of Wrath the Lich King will grant you between 15,000 yeah. to 20,000 experience. And those quests will have way more competition compared to the ones at the Isle of Goldenas. Now that I'm already testing... You can just have them prepare it right before you before you go to Wrath if you want leveling. to. Then I also went into a level 70 dungeon to test the experience as a level 70 character. Okay. And in here you get a lot of experience. So even as a tank, and if you can kill a lot of monsters at the same time, this will probably be a decent way to level in Wrath the Lich King. But the, I mean, I don't know, I, I get people just want to like... I feel like this whole consensus and stuff with like, MUST GET TO 80 AS SOON AS POSSIBLE! I get you want to get like ahead of the curve and like you want to be ahead of people, but it's like... Go to Northrend and do the new content, right? Like, go, go, go explore the new world. Don't, don't like, you know, don't go to TBC dungeons, right? I feel like it's just it, it ruins a little bit the, the whole point of it, right? I don't know. It's the achievement of Welfare's uh, AD. Yeah, but people that do this, they they won't. They, there's gonna be like some spurky guild that has like some hardcore strat, you know? Hey guys, it's Athene. Today we're gonna be farming Ashel Narub, you know? There's gonna be like. It's gonna be like some crazy like dungeon strat or something like that, you know? From 70 to 71. One yeah, thing I, I feel like the, the, the questing and like the experience of, of like the new leveling zone is probably like it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of a lot of interesting, you know, content to do. You will not be able to level is your weapon skills in Wrath the Lich King mm. at the different new target dummies. People have told me to test this, but sadly it seems like I will not be able to level this way. It okay. works like a PP target, so as you see, even though my weapon skill is level one, yeah, I always hit the work. target, but I don't get any weapon skills. I mean, you can still go to Blasted Lands, though, right? In that, the original the patch 3.2, so when tier nine. Isle of Conquest. Wow, my new favorite BG. I love Isle of Conquest. Content was originally That's so added, good. And new battleground was also implemented. Yeah. But on the beta, these NPCs are available right now. So amazing. Making... How many people are in the raid? We're missing uh, four people, and then we can do raid. And the possibility that you will be able to do the Isle of Conquest at the beginning of Wrath the Lich King. Be 71, right? Some of you would also like to know if you can purchase a new level 70 epic PvP set for the new hero class, Death Knight. I've been to Stormwind City and Okruma, but sadly I've not been able to find a Brutal Gladiator okay. set for this class. Yeah, it seems no. like you will only be able to purchase the different offset pieces, so for example the Guardian and Rings, the Nyx, Racers and so on. Yeah. And I've even been to the different arena vendors to check if you could purchase something. At these vendors, you will only be able to purchase the different mm -hmm. epic gems and also the different epic weapons. Yeah. In one of the previous videos, I mentioned you're not able to use a cast sequence macro, but people keep posting comments with different macros I should test. None of these macros yeah. are working. So I it's mean, it's good he's testing it, right? It's like yeah. the cast sequence, but also cast they, random. They, they removed the way these macros work. Macros I think will not be working in the next expansion. What will be working is the opportunity to make a lot of gold in Wrath of the Lich King. You simply just need to do the different raids and acquire the emblems. Dude, people are gonna have so much freaking gold in Wrath, man. That's why I, I think that's why Fresh is so appealing to me still, man. I'm still, I'm still having like a battle with where, whether or not where I'm gonna main and like what I'm gonna level first, right? All of these braces we'll you can purchase with these emblems, and all of them are bound on equip, okay. making you able to make a lot of gold in the beginning of Wrath of the Lich King because you can sell these to other players. That's inc that's crazy. You can get BOEs like that. That's pretty insane. You one of those people with gold, though. That is true. That is true. For those of you wondering about the price for the Traveler's Mermaid, the price for this 20K. is twenty thousand, but this is without any discount. If you reach Exalted with Kirin Tor, mm -hmm. the price should also be reduced by twenty percent, so ending at a price of sixteen thousand gold. Okay. An important vendor that I also need to check in Dalaran City is the one for Cold Weather Flying, the big because one at level seventy-seven you will be able to learn Cold Weather Flying. But will you also be able to buy the Tome of Cold Weather Flying in Phase 1? It sadly seems like this will not be the case, because this vendor doesn't sell you anything. Okay. 
there are still a lot of bugs on the beta right now. Yeah. But then again, it has not even been out for more. Oh, you can buy these here as well for... F oh, okay. I didn't know this, actually. More than a week. For example, NPCs that shouldn't be in the game at this point. At it, like, I, I don't remember this little gnome guy on the, on the carpet. At least not in phase one. And you are able to purchase different materials that is not going to be available in phase one as well. At the same time, the price for different materials and items... It's not supposed to be in the game yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Also completely wrong. For example, the possibility to purchase these... That's a cheap ring right there. Yo, Civilo, thank you for the Prime. Thank you so much for the Prime, Civilo. Rings for 34 gold, yeah, cheap. 61 they're silver, cheap. and 10 copper. I still have so many more things to test. And if there's anything specifically yeah. you would like to see in the next video, then remember to post this in a comment and I might be able to include it. Well, there it is. To make sure you don't miss the next video, then remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. But yeah, that's about it for today. As always, thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Peace. YouTube.